Hi, I'm Christian Chetnia and I'm 16 years old. And I'm Shivam Gupta and I'm 15. Our third team member, Isham Sobchek, could not be here due to unavoidable circumstances. Did you know that oil and water actually mix aboard the ISS? And that electrostatic forces aboard the ISS are the same as that on Earth? Can two invisible liquids such as oil and water be separated using the electrostatic forces of attraction aboard the ISS? Using the two phenomena previously explained, our hypothesis is that in microgravity, when a sphere containing oil and water is introduced to an electric field on a rubber tube, the sphere will revolve around the rubber tube. However, the centripetal force acting on the water and the oil will be different due to the difference in their masses and due to the difference on their net charge. The difference in their net charge arises due to the dielectric constant of water being higher than that of oil and the induced charge of oil being lesser than that of water. It's moving towards. As you saw in the video, even on Earth, electrostatic forces attract water due to the polarity of water. However, it's been seen in previous acid experiments that in space, the sphere of water form would not only be attracted by the electrostatic forces, but would indeed revolve around the rubber tube. This can be attributed to the absence of gravity. This is our experimental setup in space. As you can see, this is a plastic container. Upon the person conducting the experiment needs to provide an initial force for the water sphere to come out. To this water sphere, we inject some oil which is lesser in volume in the water and due to the radiating chromatica instability, this stream of oil will divide itself into drops inside the water sphere. So this is the rubber tube in which the electrostatic energy is started and hence produces the electric field. So the sphere revolves around this rubber tube in the path as shown and these are the oil droplets that are left behind. We theorized that over time the drops of oil would separate themselves in the sphere and then these drops would revolve around the rubber tube individually. This can be derived from the equation, centripetal force is equal to mass into velocity squared upon the radius. And from this we can derive that the radius of the operative path of the oil will be greater than the radius of the operative path of water.